Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me here live. I'm Eli Mahong and if you don't follow me yet, you know, go ahead and join my group. I have a, I'll post it in the comments. And I'm talking about wellness and positivity and I just sort of have that message, overarching message in all of my lives and everything around my group. And I do that so that because I do that because I feel like that message is not being shared enough. And as professional women, I mean, I'm reaching out to you. Um, I'm a 52 year old mom. I'm a businesswoman. I'm an educator. Um, I've been married for 23 years and I ran into some real snags in 2022 around my personal life and my professional life. And I turn to some really helpful activities to help me overcome the stress of those problems. And then as I went through that, it dawned on me that others could use the same help. You know, I've bumped into a number of my friends and other women that I've, I've worked with in the past who have come to the realization that they are really stressed out. They, they don't know why um, certain conversations they have at work really bother them. They don't know why certain things and words and sayings, encounters are triggering some of these really strong emotions in them. And, you know, there's a number of research out there about um, being at the, this point in our life where certain things will bother us more than they did in the past, right? Because we were in different phases back then. But it doesn't excuse the fact that you could use some real practical strategies that I share here and help you overcome that stress, right? Why go through this point in your life, maybe in your 50s or even a little younger, where you start to feel the stress of life and the... Uh, um, I'm just checking my Facebook here to make sure that I'm, I'm going live here with all of you. Why do you have to endure that, right? Why don't you get some real, um, sorry, I'm looking at it right now. Why don't you get in on some real practical activities that you could do every day, very convenient ones that I used um, to help you overcome that, okay? And one of those things I just mentioned, the reason I'm going live here is because there are, ne there's negative self-talk we have. There's some beliefs that we have as women that impede our uh, peace and our happiness as we progress in life, okay? As we move from phase to phase. If you're younger, then you were just sort of coming out of school and maybe you're starting a career. Maybe you are newly married or you're a new mom. You know, you're just kind of going through some new phases. And I experienced that too. And each time along the way, I still had a critical inner voice talking to me, but I sort of suppressed it. I put it to the side and I just kind of kept going and I aspired to do great things in my profession. I, you know, I was trying to climb the corporate ladder. I was trying to have the healthy, healthy relationships and healthy marriage and healthy family. And just life kind of, just kind of went along. But when I get, got to the point where I was a little more mature in my career, um, I, le I learned that, you know, other people were having different agenda around my career and they made decisions that turned the path from one direction that I thought I was going in into another. Um, and that shook me pretty hard, okay? And it made me realize that I don't have control over this career of mine. Even though I have nice goals and I want to contribute to my profession, it doesn't mean that how I plan it to go out that everything will turn that way. And then I also learned in life um, that I lost a very close loved one of mine in 2022. And I also felt incredible grief and sorrow, right? And I use these um, strategies that I'm going to share here today to sort of help me heal and actually build a protective armor around me 
of support and assurance so that I could keep going through life. All along, I still have that critical voice, right? So we endure, as women, thousands of little cuts every single day when we are talking to ourselves, okay? When we are being hard on ourselves, when we are not satisfied, when we are not happy with what we've produced, okay? Some of us are perfectionists, and that sort of speaks to this journey that you're going to be on that will constantly challenge you because you are allowing that perfectionism and that critical voice inside of you to rule your day, right? Actually to ruin it oftentimes. And you become comfortable with that conversation of, you know, you're not good enough, like you didn't, you get passed up on this opportunity or that opportunity because you can't do it. Now you're having this conversation with yourself and you become comfortable. We've all become conditioned with it. I had that voice too. I still do, okay, every now and then. But I've done some things that has helped me to learn more about myself and helped me to learn self-compassion. Okay, we all could use that. Self-compassion is developed when you also learn how to fill your day from the beginning all the way to the moment you close your eyes and probably even into your subconscious when you're dreaming. You fill your day with gratitude, okay? You become aware of the present moment you are in instead of worrying and talking and having a conversation with yourself fearful of what's going to happen next okay um i have a wellness checklist that i also am going to provide in my comments i'm going to provide you with my group uh, link as well as my free wellness checklist you can access okay you can get it in the comments while you're watching this go ahead and click um, live hashtag live or hashtag replay but either way you can still access those things okay when you join my community I will have more in-depth information about this critical self-talk that we have with ourselves how to overcome them some more uh, convenient practical activities that I used to help me overcome 2022 and I'm so vibed up about how these activities as I've become consistent with them I've included them in my day every single day consistently how it has changed my mood my energy my motivation okay it's all improved and I know that our professional women our women our stay-at-home moms we all feel that from time to time and wouldn't it just be helpful to have a couple of those tools that you can implement through your day and just kind of get you back on track. So I'll put that in the comments here. But as you watch my presentation, as you, you know, listen in, let me know if any of this resonates with you, right? If any of this is helpful, as I put this in the comments here, because I want to know, I want to hear from you. I'll put this uh, checklist as well. It's not something that you have to um, spend any money on, that's for sure. Um, these are activities that you can do without a lot of startup at all, okay? So the one thing that I did, I just mentioned, was gratitude. And by offering that strategy to you, this activity, I'm hoping that if you are experiencing any of the stress that I just shared with you, that you could start your day with these a couple of these thoughts and just see how that goes for you. You can turn back to them throughout the day if you ever um, feel, you know, become more self-aware and you feel these emotions sort of creating, manifesting physically to, um, you know, sweating to feeling tense to running, um, actually freezing and not being able to respond to certain things and feeling overwhelmed. Okay, so gratitude. And this is what I do. The first moment I have consciousness when I'm laying in bed and I'm about to wake up. Okay, I'm about to open my eyes. 
before I open my eyes, I take five deep breaths. Okay, I breathe in the air and I let it fill up my whole middle, my stomach. I imagine the air going through my whole body. Okay, and I exhale. And I do that about five times. I hold the air in about three to five seconds if I can. And I let it out. Okay, and I do that five, five deep breaths and I haven't even opened my eyes yet. Okay, and then when I do, I'm, I'm, out, I'm sort of triggering my consciousness. Okay, I'm realizing, all right, I'm up. I'm going to say thank you. I'm just going to say two words. I'm going to say thank you. I could say thank you for this moment. Yeah, thank you for the air. Okay, how about thank you for allowing me to have another beautiful day. What that does for you is it sets you up for um, the start of more intentional thoughts, all right? It doesn't just, your, your negative self-talk doesn't just stop, okay? You've grown up with it, all right? It is in you, your subconscious, in your mind, it's in your emotions, you become conditioned. But if you can just take this one activity and start it, okay? Start it first thing tomorrow morning. Remind yourself, all right? to breathe, take your five breaths, and say your one thank you. And I hope this was helpful. I give more strategies and tips um, in my group. You have it in the comments there. You can have access to my wellness checklist. And I so appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope this helped. Take care.